so first is in the ecg what do you do so basically it is also called as ekg and what was the scientist a german scientist name karl anthoven so these things are not that important karl anthoven he got nobel prize also so anthoven yes he invented the technique for ecg for the purpose of ecg the basically it is what we are recording electrical activity of the heart so recording electrical activity of heart okay now why for various purposes the most important are arrhythmias and the what myocardial infarctions okay so they are the two main that is the vascular lesions and also the arrhythmias okay blocks etc so there are two main reason okay now to record the problem is if you want to see something we will put something like some eye or something to see but problem is so how do we record so we record by by electrodes also called as leads also called as leads okay now there are in total 12 leads but again if you put they can be 15 also they could be 16 also so there are basically how many leads 12 leads okay so what are the 12 leads okay 12 plus 3 i am writing so what are the 12 leads okay clear so i am starting now okay thank you shahid bhai yes okay so first is there are six precordial or the word is chest leads okay which are they v1 to v6 v1 to v6 okay plus three are also there that is v7 8 9 okay you can ignore only focus on these okay and there are six limb leads six limb leads which names i will write later just remember there are what there are six precordial main and six limb leads which you attach to the limbs hands and legs okay so six six now why are we having so many leads the reason is a very very important one so what is that okay so let me drink some water okay so what is the reason let me explain the reason is about the anatomy of the heart okay so heart is not a 2d structure can you see this structure so if a problem is on the front so you can see if i put something on the front but if problem is at the bottom can you can you see at the bottom no because you can only see front i have to either tilt the heart abhimat can ask heart palta you can tilt cannot tilt the heart okay but we can do what we can put a lead at the bottom also clear we can put on the side also or we can put on the another side okay so that's why we are trying to surround the heart in all possible direction okay so what we start with is the what the precordial so v1 is put on the right side like this okay can you see so this is lead v1 are you clear then we will put v2 just next exact location yes we don't have to learn okay like fourth intercostal second i just skip so these two are seeing where the side that is septal so they are seeing the septal whereas if i put the v3 and v4 where are they seeing they are seeing the front they are seeing you anterior okay and now this side is the lateral or the left side so here we will have which one the v5 and the v6 are you clear so these are looking at the lateral margin can you see this so these are the lateral ones these are anterior and this is obviously the septal side which sees mainly the iv septum can you see them anterior which one lateral and this is this okay so these are the six main leads we are having so let me show them so we are doing the chest leads okay so this let's say heart okay this is v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 okay so what is v5 and v6 they are lateral and please make notes i will try to provide but please make notes. so lateral leads so they are called what lateral leads okay these two are anterior leads are you clear and these two are septal leads these are the septal leads so you will remember them so this is what the iv septum now here's the iv septum so that's with the right ventricle this is left ventricle so it's basically the this side this is basically the septal side okay this is the anterior part okay so i hope now you can remember don't say not by right ventricle right ventricle is yes shown but i'll uh, tell this later okay so septal leads v1 v2 anterior v3 v4 and lateral leads are v5 v6 are you clear clear and what is then uh, anteroseptal so you can use what 
V1 to V4 can be taken as septal leaves. Okay, some books say 2, 3, 4. So, what is anteroseptal? AS is anteroseptal. Anteroseptal. So, what is the term? We can take V2 to V4. Some books say add V1 also. I put in bracket. So, this is called as anteroseptal. Are you clear? Anteroseptal. Okay, clear? And if you take what? The anterolateral, then you have to include what? You have to include the V5, V6 also. Are you clear? And this would become then anterolateral. Are you clear now? Okay. Done. Now, what about the problem? Problem is, it is which plane? This is your horizontal plane. That is front, left, right. Are you clear? But if a problem is at the bottom, I should put a lead at the bottom. Yes or no? So, I need something at the bottom. Let's say here. Are you clear? So, I need to put something at the bottom. That is feet. So, now I need to see which plane. So, this is which plane? Horizontal. So, these are covering horizontal. That is front, back. Now, some will say, sir, what about back? For back, we can use V7, V8, V9. Okay. So, posterior would be V7, V8, V9. We don't have to do. So, for that, it will be very cumbersome. V7, V8, V9. They are posterior leaves. So, you can skip that because, again, better we do a transesophageal Yes, recording for that. Okay, so posterior leads. Skip. Posterior leads, please skip. Okay. So are you clear now? Okay. Now comes the question. Okay. What is the other important thing in this case now? Okay. Now we need to know about the which plane. So this is covering which plane? Okay. Let's look at this. Okay. So this is the horizontal plane. Now we see the vertical plane. So vertical plane is given by which leads? The answer is it is given by our limb leads. So limb leads are going to give us which plane? They give the vertical plane. So top and bottom. So now you can see inferior also and the other parts. Okay. So how do you place? <clears throat> so let me teach. Let's say this is the chest. These are the legs okay and these are the hands okay this is a person okay and this is our heart which is situated here this is the heart okay abhi mat kya sir why you not making the heart wo <coughs> paan shape okay yeah, lo khush raho jindagi mein khush raho sahi hai ye ho gaya heart okay so now question is if this is the arm which is the arm this is the left arm okay are you clear this is the right arm R and this one I can combine dono ko jor do and we can make a single that is the F. F is what? The foot. Basically left foot. So what are the three leads here? They are left side, right side and the inferior one. Okay. So right, left, inferior. Okay. And what is the full name of this? So they are rather called as augmented voltage L. AVL. AVF and AVR. So now you can see the left side, inferior and the right side. Are you clear now? So right side, left side and the foot that is a lower part. Are you clear? Now these are unipolar leads. They are which one? Uni because they are only one pole. So unipolar leads are which one? AVL, AVR, AVF. Easy. Now if you connect the two limbs, it become a bipolar. So what are the bipolar? So, bipolar are 1, 2 and 3. So, which are the bipolar? 1, 2, 3. Okay. Okay. So, the video is having some problem. One second. Okay. So, I will just check with that. Okay. So, is the video available? Do one thing, you go to YouTube, okay, and just uh, go and check the main page, okay. So, yeah, it's working, huh? okay. So, just go to the YouTube and check the first thing would be this, okay. Can you see? So, on the YouTube, the first thing you will see is this particular thing, okay. Okay, fine, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Okay. Clear. So, are you clear? Now, we'll see how do you connect. So, if I connect these two limbs, okay, these two, this is lead one. If I connect these, it is lead number two. And if I connect this, this is lead number three. So, now you can see all the leads. One, two, three. Are you clear now? So, one, two and three. Clear? So, one, 
टू एंड थ्री ओके सो बायपोलर मीन्स इट इज कनेक्टिंग टू लिम्स बायपोलर मीन्स टू लिम्स आर यू क्लियर सो वन लिम राइट हैंड लेफ्ट हैंड इज ए ए यू कैन से अलोन रिमेंबर ए इज अलोन ओके इज एक्चुअली नॉट अलोन इज ऑगमेंटेड आप ऐसे याद कर लो ए मीन्स अलोन एंड बाईपोलर आर वन टू थ्री वट इज बाईपोलर वन टू थ्री बाईपोलर आर वन टू थ्री ओके नाउ लेट्स मेक इट इन द वे सो प्लीज सी इट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स सो दिस इज वट ए वी एफ दिस इज ए वी एल एंड दिस इज ए वी आर कैन यू सी दैम सो ए वी एल ए वी एफ ए वी आर एंड विच आर द बाईपोलर लीड्स वन टू एंड थ्री आर यू क्लियर सो दीज आर द यूनिपोलर एंड बाईपोलर सो वट हैव आई डन दिस इज थ्री ना ये थ्री है ना इसको उठा के यहां रख दिया सो वी जस्ट वट पुट द थ्री फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर सो कैन यू सी सो दिस ट्राइंगल ओपन अप दिस ट्राइंगल वी ओपन अप ओके सो नो वन विल आस्ट वाई यू ओपन अरे हमारी मर्जी ठीक है बस तो ये बन गया हमारा एंड इफ यू कंबाइन द टू वट विल यू गेट दिस इज द फाइनल पिक्चर विच यू सी ऑफन इन द बुक्स दिस इज वन this is 2 this is 3 this is avf avl and this is avr so this is the six leads which plane is this this is which plane this is our vertical plane top bottom right left done so now question is which leads are looking downwards which leads are looking at the bottom inferior part the answer is 2 3 and avf so they are called as which leads these three are called as inferior leads now some of you will question me sir itni lead yaad kaise karenge bilkul mera bhi ek question hai okay so let me make a good mnemonic or technique for you okay and don't take it seriously okay so if a person fail because he is not studying properly and not uh, attending our classes okay sorry for being mean okay so what happen a person will fail and once he fail he will feel inferior he will develop what inferiority complex yes or no so when do you feel inferior to other people those who have passed and you have fail and if a person fail he will give what second or third attempt are you clear so what will a person failing first attempt give he gives either the second or third attempt second or third so now you will say sir ye kya hua to yaad kar lo na bachcho inferior leads are f 2 3 inferior leads are f 2 and 3 so remember that so inferior leads are which one they are 2 3 and you are feeling what bad because you have failed so avf so remember f so what are the three f 2 3 are which ones they are the inferior leads are you clear now question is what about the one and avl so basically they are again showing there this side so they are which side this so they are again what lateral leads so they are again lateral leads okay so how many lateral leads we have got in total now we have got four lateral leads so how many four so how many four v5 v6 avl and one are you clear so which one v5 v6 avl and one okay so i hope all of you are now perfect with the topic of leads why because i'll tell you what is the importance because in 2018 exam there was two ecg question and in one they asked which mi it is okay so they gave option and again it could be a anteroceptal infarct or it could be a anterior wall infarct so that's why you have to be very smart to know the leads okay so let's just summarize because without the leads you will lose the concept so what is the leads concept so please follow me okay so which are the lateral leads lateral lateral they are one avl and which one and v5 v6 are you clear which are the inferior i told you two three and avf clear and which is the posterior you don't have to worry okay and the septal septal which one they are three 
and 4 and what what is the sorry this is 1 and 2 and what is the anterior this is which one v3 v4 so i hope i made this easy for you people so these are the lids we are having and we will be seeing in this case done okay now what is the importance of everything i will come to it very very soon okay clear and remember one thing that the inferior is basically showing what they are showing a area which is at the bottom are you clear now and they are supplied by right coronary artery so who supply this inferior wall infarct may so basically right coronary artery are you clear so right coronary artery is the case okay clear so that's why don't forget this thing right coronary artery is the case okay fine Baki rest i'll tell later the descending etc so done everything okay so i hope everything is going fine okay if yes just give me a thumbs up or just okay Ki yes sir we are able to understand everything lateral inferior anterior all okay so everything is fine Okay, someone asked AVR. Okay, see AVR is not useful for anything. Why? Because AVR is basically, I'll show. This is the heart. This is the cavity. Can you see the cavity? So AVR is actually showing towards the ventricular cavity. If I have to make the cavity, this is the heart. Clear? Okay. So that's why it is pointing towards the cavity. So it gives all the waves inverted. So it gives what? It gives, it is basically giving leads which are opposite. Give what? Opposite leads. So it gives opposite waves to lead one two three two mainly so that's what is used as a mirror of what ecg electrode placement and if there's any problem in placement the avr will not give the yes right picture so avr just used so it give what all the leads as what as the reverse can you see them so this is what it is the ecg given by avr so it give what opposite wave so it give opposite wave so don't have to use them we don't have to use so skip avr smart people i'm telling you avr ka koi use nahi hai siwai it is a reference scale hai na ki dekhne ke liye ki hai na jaise kya hai we have something to check whether things are going or not it's like that okay clear chalo ignore chalo now comes the second question how does the ecgs are formed so please bit of physiology okay we all know pacemaker is heart which one so pacemaker of heart is assay node yes or no now a question for you why and option i give you a is what sympathetic innervation sympathetic nerves b para sympathetic c it is because of what highest frequency and d is it is location that is at the top so location of the heart okay so why it is the pacemaker why it is the pacemaker so question why assay node is the pacemaker sympathetic innervation parasympathetic nerve supply highest frequency location what is the answer 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 very good satyender gave the first answer satyender chocolate for you bhai okay so sneakers for you okay i have other stuff also okay if you want i can give you later on okay my mother keep putting all the stuff okay so sneakers for you rupak very good ishak kaisa naam hai wah ab ranchu team friend jigar satyendra very good yaar very good kamal hai you all are rocking sonali akanksha very good okay so i think you all have attended physiology classes hai na yes or no so yes the answer is highest frequency okay so remember as it is pacemaker due to highest frequency okay so what is the frequency it is around 70 200 per minute and that is why it decide the heart rate and that is called what sinus rhythm so what is the name use sinus rhythm so what is sinus rhythm yes very good all are perfect very good okay yes okay so i cannot take the name there are almost 100 people replying yes but i am very very happy okay clear so all are perfect okay so what is this called as as a node it is called as sinus rhythm okay so what is sinus rhythm it is the rhythm produced by the pacemaker as a node okay 70 to 100 so that's what the normal heart rate that's why normal heart rate is also what 60 to 100 per minute some book give 90 but you take 100 okay 
so till 100 we take normal so this is what normal heart rate normal heart is what 60 to 100 per minute okay now one question but what control the resting heart rate resting heart rate under control of okay so again i will just give you two options these two sympathetic parasympathetic or none it is autonomic yeah automatic c is only sa mode so three options okay so question number two resting heart rate is under the control of tell me tell me so who control the resting heart rate sa node sympathetic para answer 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 okay anyone resting heart rate is under which control it's very important okay very good first to answer at my screen is jigar deep oh sorry deep patel jigar mohit shivam aditya sinduja very good okay all answered okay now understand it is yes all are giving the answer very good it is parasympathetic and what is it called as vagal tone and what is the importance it decreases heart rate and what it does it decreases heart rate it decreases the heart rate and that is why sometimes we use vagal maneuvers to correct tachycardias are you clear now so sometimes when you see a patient this is very high we can activate the vagus nerve to correct his tachyrhythmia okay it's a very important thing are you clear now fine so vagal tone okay very good okay Chal. now let's come to the next concept next concept is understand assay node is making the currents and it give to the atria it give to the atria and from atria okay what next area is av node are you clear then come what the bundle of his then come bundle branches this is the conducting pathway okay then come the Purkinje fibers and they are going to supply the ventricles are you able to see this okay so please follow yes okay parasympathetic very good okay so are you able to follow this it's a very very important thing it's okay so assay node is atria and perkin j are ventricles now two three question what is that first is av node is the slowest he is the slowest slowest and perkin j are the fastest in speed okay and the bundle branches are two left and right left supply the right ventricle left obviously left ventricle and right ventricle so how many branches are there right branch left and they can be blocked so therefore what will be the most common site of block this assay node is the slowest so it is the most common site of conduction block and then we have this bundle branches etc are you clear now when atria is getting current so atria get what depolarized and this produce p wave in ecg so which wave is produced by atria depolarized by the sa node p wave p wave okay now the current will travel so that means p wave will have to wait for some time and then the current reaches ventricles and ventricles get depolarized and that produce what that produce the q r s complex easy so what do you get q rs so atria create p wave ventricles create the qrs and they look like this this q this okay so i know my handwriting is uh, drawing is bad okay this is q this is r and s okay so q and s are negative so q or sometimes call a small q so q and s are negative r is positive okay and i'm not going in detail ki q wave is formed by ventricular depolarization etc why you need to solve question not to learn the exact details of everything okay so ventricle get depolarized okay fine now here comes the question so that means there must be a gap between the start of p wave 
to the QRS. So this gap between the two is called as the PR interval. So are you clear now? So what is PR interval? It is from start P to start of QRS. Are you clear? So start of P wave to start of QRS is which interval? It is your, yes, PR interval. Are you clear now? Easy. Then what happens? The ventricles will remain so or they will also undergo reproduction. So now what happens is ventricular repolarization. That give you what? That give us T wave, which is a big positive wave. Okay, so big positive wave. Okay, so again, there must be a gap between these two. Yes, and the gap between these two, that is the QRS and T, is called as ST segment. I'll show all later. ST segment. Okay, so what are the things you have to learn? These things. That's it. So, what do you need to learn? Atria depolarize P wave. Then there's an interval till the QRS. Then what happens next is we are having what phenomena? We are having ventricle depolarized QRS. Clear? That is QRS. Okay. And then what happens? The ventricles are going to get what? Repolarized. And that is T wave. Are you clear? And what is between the QRS and T wave? It is the ST segment we have. So it is the ST segment. So where is ST segment? It is between the QRS and the T wave. QRS and the T wave. ST segment. Very important. Okay. ST segment is very very important okay now what is the final picture it is like this can you see it so this is the P wave Q R S T are you clear what is the interval this is S T this is ST. So yellow one is the ST segment. Are you clear? So yellow is the ST segment. Are you clear? So yellow is ST segment. And what is that green one I am making from here to here? This green, okay. This green is PR interval. PR. Are you clear? So PR is from start of the P to start of QRS complex. It should be ideally this much. Mostly Q is not seen. So we take a starting of R. So you got the idea. So let me make one more adjustment. In case there is no Q wave, then it will be like this only. Clear? So now it's easy. So you can remember it from the start of this to R. Okay? Q is absent. Q is seen very few. Maybe V5, V6, otherwise not seen. Q is very rarely seen. Okay? Now, is it clear? So PR interval and ST segment. PR interval and ST segment. Now what I am going to tell you is something very very important. Pay attention. PR interval contain a wave. Which wave? P wave. So it has P wave. ST segment no wave. So that means it is just a straight line. So that is what is called as isoelectric segment. Isoelectric segment are you clear p wave is a wave which is not straight going up so that is why pr interval has what no isoelectric uh, you can say name why because this can be isoelectric but not this okay just focus one can you see this dot here this dot is called as j point this dot is called as the j point U wave will discuss later whenever you get time, okay, clear. So U wave is not required now, okay, papillary muscle activity. So U wave occur, yes, in case there is a decrease in the rate, okay. So we'll discuss that later. Focus on this, okay. So J point, okay. So what is the J point? So what is the J point? So J point is the start of the ST segment. So what is J point? Start of ST segment. Okay, and I'm telling you uh, one very easy rule to remember the J point should be same level as this entire ST and even PR segment. So if I ask you someone, can you tell me what is this blue colored structure I am making this blue? Okay, 
so this blue structure or rather i'll make a box this structure what is this structure this is called as what pr segment are you clear because there is no wave here so this is a pr segment are you clear no one ask you this much but remember they all are at same axis okay fine so now this st segment is a very very important thing why because it moves in various conditions right two things okay st segment okay remember either it shows a elevation or it shows a depression either goes up or down hai ke nahi bhai duniya mein log ya to upar jaate hain niche jaate hain so that's why it either show a ah, elevation or depression okay now remember elevation depression how to remember okay remember if there is less blood flow that is ischemia most commonly you will see what depression clear so it shows mainly depression st depression std that is st depression are you clear and if there is a death what happen it causes leakage of ions etc and elevation and in mi myocardial infarction there is death of the tissue most commonly it shows st elevation there are exception also like non st it shows mostly st elevation so remember this logic clear so elevation is most commonly most likely okay most likely it is mi and this is just simple plain ischemia are you clear so mi is elevation clear example st segment so they are called as what they are called as st segment elevation mi that is stem are you clear now so st e m i that is st segment elevation mi are you clear now easy so st segment elevation mi clear so that is the case okay so how to remember okay remember you are not getting any blood any money are you happy or you are depressed you are depressed you are not having the money blood and one day lack of what supply you are dead and when you are dead you goes up to mar gaye to upar chale gaye to remember elevation is when the tissue is actually dead that is death is elevation mostly and depression is it is suffering from lack of blood so ischemia mostly cause depression mi mostly cause what it cause so example unstable angina or all this condition we'll discuss it later properly but right now just remember elevation okay fine now angina is just pain don't try to correlate it can be with elevation also with depression also so angina is just a symptom it can show elevation also or depression also okay like in prince metal or variant you might get a elevation don't worry just remember elevation is a hallmark of mi okay clear so question is asked what is going to happen or be seen okay so i'll just go to the next thing then we'll discuss okay there is something called as the axis okay so now we'll learn about the axis okay now remember axis is very easy remember the left ventricle is maximum in size okay and heart is tilted like this can you see so that is why most of the time the currents are showing towards what the lead number what two can you see this so this is what lead 3 lead 2 and lead 1 are you clear so lead 1 lead 2 and lead 3 okay and this is our heart let's say the heart okay so now as you can see the current is flowing where here so that's why biggest r wave is in lead 2 it has the biggest r wave maximum r it is positive and biggest are you clear and in lead 1 and 2 we will see r wave which are smaller so we have small positive r here also small r but maybe positive okay so in a person in a pr segment is isoelectric not pr interval okay interval includes the wave okay clear okay so first is understand this is maximum r this is less so that means the heart is showing normal axis this is normal okay now imagine if the ventricles become what like this look at this diagram i'm showing okay let's say the ventricles become thicker here 
left ventricle become very thick can you see so now the current will shift to this way are you clear so r wave will become bigger in which lead it will become bigger in lead one and even avl okay so we will get big r in avl and one are you clear if there is a shift in which thing in the left axis are you clear now left axis okay and if let's say the picture changes okay and the picture changes look at this one now look at this heart so now it is showing much thicker here so now the axis or the current will shift like this so now it will go to which side the lead to so lead to will give a bigger r wave a bigger r so where is r wave bigger either lead one or lead three that can give a idea whether the heart is like this so remember this is the heart if heart is going to the left side you will get bigger waves r wave in lead one if it's going toward the right side you will get bigger wave in what lead three and f are you clear now so that's why what is the normal condition so please remember so normally so remember this is lead one lead two lead three so this is can you see this so what is the case it is normal axis are you clear so normal axis okay now have a look at this very big small small or maybe negative also so what that shows what that shows the axis is shifting where to which side see lead one lead three so that means the heart is showing a shift from normal axis to which axis to this axis can you see this so that means rather than this the heart is now showing the r vector here so where is the r wave bigger here and smaller in lead 2 and lead 3 i have not shown the lead 2 but this is lead 2 so where is the wave small 2 and 3 where is big lead 1 which axis is left axis deviation so this is l a d left axis deviation are you clear so what is it it is a left axis deviation that we will see or have in this case so i hope is clear okay easy okay now comes the second question okay okay look at this one where is the wave bigger here so where is the wave largest here can you tell me which axis here here three or one three yes or no so what is this one yes this is right axis deviation are you clear okay so what is the criteria in right axis you will get maximum r in three small or even negative r in one are you clear so max r in three small or negative r in one indicate this for the criteria for lad kids it is max r in one and avl because they are the left side ones yes or no clear and and what small or negative r in three or maybe two three even two easy kitna easy ho gaya so where is the wave bigger that decide its right axis or it is left axis clear easy okay so i will show you some graph and now it's up to you to diagnose and tell me so let's do diagnosis part okay okay so i'll show you and you tell me okay okay so i'll start so please see this okay and what do you see here where is lead to biggest okay okay see uh for any advanced detailed information like what is the range of normal axis what is see we are trying to do easy ecg not technical ecg so yes lead one is zero and it can be normal up to minus 30 
if you want to know the range so minus 30 to plus 100 is the normal range and we don't take it as this we can just say it's a shift not a deviation are you clear so exact detail very high fi will not do okay please so let's see in this case can you see this is what lead one two three where is the r wave biggest so where is the r wave biggest can you tell me it is which lead it is lead number two so what is the axis it is normal very good so it is a normal axis not deviation it's normal axis don't say deviation okay it is normal axis not deviation okay so easy very good okay very good now look at this and try to diagnose what is the axis in this person what is the axis in this person look at lead one lead two lead three where is it biggest very good Indrajit, Vamsi, Naredia, Swapna, very good, tell me, tell me, very good, okay, all of you are bang on target, very good, Vidhi, Krishna, Indrajit, Shalem, very good, Shahid, very good, okay. Gokul, okay. Yes, all of you can see it is this, this, and this. So, where is biggest? Lead 3. So, it's a right axis division. Bang on target. All of you bang on target. It's a right axis division. Okay, okay. So, I'm removing it because they are having other findings also. So, I hope it's clear. And try to find this now. Okay. I know it's a very bad quality. Yes, Sara, okay. So, can you see? What is this? I am not going to mark it. I know it's a bad ECG, but again. Okay. All of you see it? Yes, very good, okay. So now you are perfect, okay. Again, it is what? You can see, it is again what? It is again showing what? The, which axis? The right axis deviation. Very good. Bang on target. So right axis deviation, okay. Fine. Left is obviously, I'm, I don't think I have made it. Okay, fine. So I have what made all this go here and there, okay. Yeah, it's working, okay. So I'll show you later, okay. Fine, okay. So let's come to the page I was writing okay now axis is clear okay now what are the causes of axis deviation okay so remember a very easy rule okay if a ventricle let's say the normal ventricle okay clear if it become thicker like this will it not cause the shift yes so that's why the most common reason is shift so R A D L A D I am writing the causes so physiological very easy if I am standing my heart will go like this if I sit the diaphragm goes up and the heart will go to the left side so sitting left axis standing right so sit and stand so sit stand then pregnancy diaphragm goes up so again heart will shift to the left side ignore it now write the main ones right ventricular hypertrophy left ventricular hypertrophy so left ventricular hypertrophy right ventricular hypertrophy so they will drag the r wave the current ventricle toward itself so which ventricle is big the one which is big drag it the one which is big will drag it always are you clear then next thing bundle branch block r b b b l b b b easy so right bundle branch block and left bundle branch so remember whatever branch is blocked it will conduct later and once it come later it will drag the current to its side so remember right bundle branch right axis so now see how many are ra too many r's so how to remember ra 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 that is the name of our program ra 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 ba 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 okay or this is la 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 so left axis deviation lvh and left bundle branch block are you clear now okay fine done now one question is there in case there is some ventricular disease remember which is showing the hypertrophy so lung damage or any problem lung can make the right ventricle hypertrophy so that's why lung disease will show 
left axis deviation most likely and anything which affect let us say left ventricle that might show the effects on this okay fine so that is more than sufficient for you okay yes okay so r r l l so remember r r l l very good okay clear yes obviously if there is a aortic stenosis what will happen it will cause what it will cause a left ventricular hypertrophy and that will cause even systemic hypertension it will cause left so that's why just apply your logic medicine part will do later okay now for hypertrophy what are the better criteria not the axis it is precordially so remember for hypertrophy for hypertrophy what is better better is we use chest leads chest leads okay why i'll tell you so hypertrophy let's say this heart if there's a hypertrophy this ventricle become bigger so let's say this side is bigger so this will show bigger wave or if the right is bigger the v1 will show bigger wave so that is the idea so see here so this is left ventricle right ventricle this is iv septum so now look at this v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 okay now understand r wave depend on the size of ventricle so which ventricle is bigger the left ventricle is thicker three times thicker are you clear so that is why we have this showing the left ventricle v1 v2 show the right and this is the yes junction where they both are equal some books say it is uh, uh, you can say iv septum leads but it is the balance point okay transition zone this is a transition are you clear so what does the v1 v2 show it shows the right ventricle v5 v6 shows what the left ventricle okay so obviously here the r wave would be big so r wave is bigger than s are you clear here reverse occur here in this wave leads what happened the s is bigger than r and here they are equal so are you clear so as you go from v1 to v6 the r wave keep rising the r wave keep rising and the left axis is this okay fine so left ventricle r is bigger okay so what do they look like they look like this see small r big s can you see small r big s here equal equal and here r is very big small s easy so that is what do you see are you clear this is called what r s progression are you clear now so here r is small s is big here r is big s is small are you clear now okay so have a look at this okay so we will take some normal ecg and show this okay so can you see this okay 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 so now see something here the r is bigger in v1 that is something which is not normal why because we have just learned that r is bigger in which so r is max in v5 v6 are you clear now and s max in v1 v2 are you clear so if there is any problem you will see a change are you clear now so once again r is max in which leads v5 v6 s is max in v1 and v2 are you clear now so one question for you question is so what will be the criteria for right and left ventricular hypertrophy so let me explain so for lvh and rvh we have a criteria so what are the criteria okay in rvh there would be what a big r in v1 or maybe v2 or v2 clear so if you see r bigger in v1 which ventricle has now acquired more size the answer is right ventricle okay so that is one criteria okay for the criteria this okay clear how much more than 7 mm that is 7 box so remember one box is 1 mm so how many boxes 7 box are you clear so that is the main criteria okay fine and if you take a double criteria or the criteria remember we take r in v1 plus 
एस इन वी सिक्स इफ दे आर मोर देन इलेवन एम एम अगेन इट इज राइट वेंटिकुलर हाइपर टॉप सो टू क्राइटीरिया वन इज बिग आर इज द मेन क्राइटीरिया और आर इन वी वन एंड एस इन वी सिक्स गिव यू वॉट इट गिव यू द इलेवन साइज दैट इज वॉट राइट वेंटिकुलर हाइपर ट्रॉफी आर यू क्लैनो एंड फॉर लेफ्ट द सेम थिंग इज एप्लीकेबल यू विल गेट वॉट वी विल गेट वेरी वेरी बिग आर इन वी फाइव वी सिक्स आर यू क्लियर वेरी बिग नॉट जस्ट बिग वेरी बिग एंड वट द कैलकुलेशन वी डू नाउ रिवर्स एस इन वी वन प्लस आर इन वी सिक्स विल टेक आर इन वी सिक्स एंड एस द बिगेस्ट वेव वट द बिगेस्ट वेव यर एस इन वी मोर देन थर्टी फाइव मिलीमीटर आर यू क्लियर सो प्लीज रिकैप दिस इवेंट सो आर वी एच वट द क्राइटीरिया सेवन एम एम मोर इज दिस एंड एडिशन इज इलेवन आर यू क्लियर हेयर इट इज थर्टी फाइव आर यू क्लियर सो लेट सी एंड डिस्कस ओके सो प्लीज कम लुक एट दिस कैन यू सी समथिंग वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेंज हेयर वट दैट फर्स्ट द एक्सेस इज वट इट इज ऑलरेडी वट वट शिफ्ट राइट एक्सेस डेविएशन क्लियर एंड यू सी वेरी बिग आर इन वी वन एंड वी टू आर यू क्लेनो सो वी वन एंड वी टू आर यू क्लेनो सो वी वन वी टू आर शोइंग वट वेरी बिग आर वेव सो वट इज इट इंडिकेट इट इंडिकेट वट राइट वेंटिकुलर हाइपोट्रॉफी वट द बॉक्सिस लेट्स काउंट ओके सो दिस इज फाइव बॉक्सिस वन 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 सो फाइव बॉक्स सो फाइव एम एम फाइव 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 इट इज ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी एम एम ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी वट द क्राइटीरिया जस्ट सेवन इट इज मोर देन ट्वेंटी सो वट इज द डायग्नोसिस वट इज द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ दिस ई सी जी इट्स अस राइट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपर ट्रॉफी आर यू क्लियर सो राइट वेंटिकुलर हाइपर ट्रॉफी वेरी गुड ओके येस इट इज राइट वेंटिकुलर हाइपर ट्रॉफी विद विद एक्सेस विद राइट एक्सेस डेविएशन इजी राइट एक्सेस डेविएशन ओके now look at the second ecg and you tell me what it is showing okay so let me just get a better one yes okay look at this one try to make diagnosis okay okay i'll help you count okay don't worry okay so first yes anyone what is the diagnosis first there is a very big r in v5 v6 very big and big s in v1 v2 are you now clear easy so very big r in v5 v6 and very big s in this okay what are the number of boxes can we count okay so anyone what are the number of boxes so let's count okay so help me here kids okay these are five box 5 5 5 5 can you see they are around 25 mm okay so 25 is this yes or no so 25 okay and remember the formula we have to add what the r in v5 v6 with the s in v1 so how many box are s Five, five, almost five. So we can take fifteen. Can you take fifteen? Okay, fine. So if you add, what are the case? Fifteen plus twenty-five, forty. Are you clear? So fifteen plus twenty-five, forty. So is it indicating which hypertrophy? Which hypertrophy is this? It is our yes, left ventricular hypertrophy. So what is the diagnosis? Left ventricular yes. So twenty-five. and the 15 or 10 there give 35 so is which hypertrophy left ventricular hypertrophy okay done now look at 
this one okay look at this one please make a diagnosis look at this please very good all of you okay shishma harish rupak very good okay sara very good 40 yes okay add both okay not one okay diagnosis okay what do you see in v1 what do you see in v1 the s is going very big can you see so very prominent s okay so again s big in v1 v2 clear and this is what wave what is this one this is i can't even show how big it is okay why it is so huge it is going to the mountain see even v4 is very big okay so it's very very huge which one the r and very big r in v6 okay very big you can't even count them yes or no if you try to count kaise karenge bhai 5 5 5 5 i don't even know where is ending okay i think till here yes or no yes or no so how many box how many box 5 5 5 5 5 each is one na so 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 30 are you clear 30 are this okay and this is again 5 5 5 5 5 again i think 30 so roll 60 yes or no so again which hypertrophy left ventricular hypertrophy are you clear so this is your left ventricular hypertrophy so it was asked in 2017 exam not in a graph but they just ask you which of these are criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy is it clear now so yes it is very big 35 okay fine atul is saying 35 okay atul i make it 35 it doesn't worry okay main thing is what it is showing what the yes left ventricular hypertrophy okay one more graph if you want to see can you see this one try to make a diagnosis which axis it is try to make a axis me make a diagnosis which is this diagnosis last one so understand and do it okay can you see it look at v2 not v1 look at v2 hint look at v2 and look at v4 v5 okay mainly v5 v4 okay look at them v4 v5 okay what do you see very good okay yes there is a very big r normally r should be big in v5 v6 here very big r we are suspecting what r v h is the suspicion what is the criteria more than 7 mm करू काउंट ओके करते हैं आ जाओ ये v1 v2 करें 5 5 12 यस और नो सो इट इज 2 इज इट 12 यस ओके हियर इवन 20 5 5 5 इट इज 20 सो इज इट क्लियर सो यस इट इज 20 सो इट इज व्हाट कंफर्म राइट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रॉफी डू आई नीड टू ऐड द v5 v6 s वेव do i need to add zarurati nahi why it is already diagnosed are you clear now so no need to add this so no need to add so what is the confirmation it is right ventricular hypertrophy it is right ventricular hypertrophy so diagnosis is clear so i hope all of you have learned the axis yes or no and have you learned the leads and have you learned the hypertrophy criteria so let's do a revision before going further so what is the revision so first is first revision is remember which are the leads okay so i'll ask you and you answer okay you tell me it is which lead okay a v l is which lead option a four lateral anterior inferior and septal okay so a v l which one a v l a v l are a v l kaun sa hai which one option de raha hu lateral inferior septal and uh, kaun sa tha ye ha anterior so avl belong to which category avl avl yes very good shishma first to answer other people avl lateral lateral sindhuja atul very good priyanka yes it is lateral very good okay 
ऑल ऑफ यू गिव इट राइट चलो अगला पूछते हैं क्वेश्चन लीड टू लीड टू वेरी गुड त्रिमि जी गोकुल मुस्कान वेरी गुड अरे बताया ना सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट विच वन इज दिस यस ऑल गुड मानसी दिनेश आश विधि वेरी गुड ओके सो वट इज इट वेरी गुड ओके वेरी वेरी गुड यस इट इज इनफीरियर वेरी गुड ओके सो आई थिंक आई एम नाउ एबल टू गेट अ वेरी गुड Hold you people have got okay. So let's do our rapid summary and then we will move okay. So lateral leads, which are the lateral leads? K, tell me lateral. They are A V L one V five V six, which are inferior two, three and A V F. Septal V one V two, anterior V three V four, and together they are antero septal. A S easy done. All clear. Okay. Then how do you know the axis? Okay. How do you know the axis? Okay. I'll make you tell me one, two, three. I'm giving you some ECGs to solve. Okay. So this is patient A, B, C. Okay. Look at this. so diagnosis abc diagnosis abc diagnosis avr is just looking at the cavity it's a inverted lead it's called as the yes opposite lead avr ignore okay so any minor doubt leave it okay yes all are right inferior okay so bhai iska karo diagnosis abc ka abc okay we are almost more than half way through we have done the leads hypertrophy now we'll do blocks and the yes ardhmiyal okay okay इंद्रजीत वेरी गुड संजी वेरी गुड सत्येंद्र वेरी गुड ओके आई थिंक सम पीपल नेट आर स्लो दे गिव आंसर बट आई थिंक दे कम टू मी लेटर ओके सो डायग्नोसिस रैपिड डायग्नोसिस एबीसी 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 यस गुड वेरी गुड Yes, Jigar, you are right, but again the answer is coming late. Okay, so everyone is able to see. So I'll write the answer here. What is bigger? So R is big in one. It is most likely a negative here in three. It is which one? Left axis deviation. Here it is big. It is normal. Here it is big. Here it is right axis deviation. Very good. Okay, I'm very proud of you. All of you are doing a great job. Okay. you are perfectly fine okay very good okay so yes lateral left normal right left normal right perfect okay theek okay. hai you all deserve what uh, almonds for you okay so i'll get you almonds okay so lo bhai badam khao apna dimag badhao ye lo <coughs> almonds for everyone okay can you see the almonds okay i know they are ritual almonds okay you can't eat but okay so i hope everything is good okay now comes the important thing okay that is calculation of blocks and tachyarrhythmia then am i and finish the class okay so till now what we are reading i hope you all are able to understand okay fine maza aa rahi hai maza maza aa raha hai maza okay so are you enjoying i know i am not getting a feedback by seeing you people but i am imagining you yes watching it on screen okay clear uh, yeah i'll parcel don't worry okay i'll send to everyone okay 1 kg almonds okay 1 kg almonds for all of you okay clear 1 kg almonds okay clear theek okay. hai so just send the address okay i'll deliver it okay personally i'll come and give okay fine okay so let's come to the next concept okay hypertrophy is done what are the main criteria if you see a very big r in v1 most likely it is right ventricular hypertrophy what are the criteria big R in V1, easy. So big R in V1 is the 
criteria very good okay so big r in v1 are you clear fine and what is for lvh very big r in v1 v2 and big s in v5 v6 are you clear how much how much 35 mm easy okay Chalo, okay i hope all of you are able to enjoy okay it's very difficult for me to teach okay because i am in a habit of seeing you people okay making videos even tougher but i think you people are giving me very good feedback i'm very happy that you all are able to understand and see okay fine okay so everything is perfect okay now we'll move to the next important concept so what is that okay so let's start okay okay so if any issue etc do inform okay so i hope uh, everything is good okay okay sara aris Deep, dilip all is good okay so now we see something about the conduction blocks okay so that is something very very important so let me explain it to you okay so now understand first is we'll discuss the blocks first is a v block clear so what happens so there is a slow conduction from where atria to ventricle atria to ventricle okay so atria to ventricle uh, okay so atria to ventricle okay now so what are the grades etc so first is what indicate this so therefore understand first is there are three grades there are three degree okay first degree we'll discuss what happens is there is increase pr interval increase pr interval okay but but p waves are always followed by qrs so what is the ratio one is to one that means there is no dropping of the beat so what is the relationship pr is increased we are not denying pr is increased but the relation is one by one okay so what is normal pr so right normal pr is how much it is point 1 to 2.16 second and remember a rule in ecg rule is 1 mm box is equal to 0 0.04 seconds so what the rule it is the rule are you clear so what is 1 mm equal to 1 mm is 0 0.04 boxes 0 0.04 boxes okay fine okay now comes the question if 0 0.12 is taken how many box three box and this is how many boxes four box so this is normal so what is normal three to four box so what is normal three to four box is normal i hope is clear so what is normal three to four box are you clear okay now what is abnormal more than 0 0.2 so increase pr is more than 0 0.2 Two seconds that is how many boxes that is more than five boxes so are you able to understand so how many boxes yes more than five boxes more than five boxes easy done 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 okay now please have a look at this okay so let me show you can you people see this i can't make it any bigger but this is let's try to calculate this is p so how many box are there one box two box three box four can you see four boxes so how many box four box let's try to see if there are any good leads i think there is a good wave here no let's go there okay so clear i'll try to find some good waves okay normal one okay So question is okay. Yeah, I remember where it is. Okay. So look at this one, which is a normal ECG for us. Okay. So look at this one. Okay. So you can see something here. So how many box? One box, two box, three. So how many box? Three box is normal. Three box is normal. Okay. So three box is normal. I hope it's clear. Three box. Now 
look at this one. I should have labeled them but again sometimes things are not as what you expect. Okay. So now have a look at this. Okay. Have a look at this okay so what do you see in this case okay start this is p wave this is our p wave followed by qrs so p wave qrs p wave so is the ratio one is to one yes so p by qrs is one is to one are you clear perfect okay perfect okay so now let's count the number of boxes okay so can we count see one box okay i'll write like this so how many box one box two box three box four five six there are how many boxes six boxes okay just see here okay clear aisha samad please see this okay that was not a good ecg okay look at this okay so can you see six boxes okay small box always remember big box is 5 5 mm small box is 1 mm are you now clear with this concept so smallest box is 1 mm large box are 5 mm okay so how many box are there six small boxes six here also one two three four five six so six means what six into 0 0.04 how much 0 0.24 and i told you what is normal five box are normal five box they are which boxes they are more than five and what is more than five means it is first degree block so what is this it is first degree so what is the number of box six so is six normal no 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 it is first degree block are you clear so it is first degree block are you clear now so first degree block i hope is clear first degree okay so first degree hard block av type okay fine all clear okay so first degree okay now what happens in case of the second degree okay so let's take it like this okay clear okay a husband normally comes home by what time by 16 o'clock so what time he comes back he comes back at 16 that is 4 pm now if he is not coming home till 8 pm it is normal we can take but if he is coming at 11 o'clock 9 o'clock is it normal will the wife tolerate no so that is why if husband come 8 pm or later it is not normal so remember 8 pm is the cutoff 8 pm is the cutoff what is 8 pm that is 20 okay fine that is 20 milliseconds okay now what happens in second degree so write down second degree first is second degree there is now missing beats what happens missing beats what happens few qrs are missing are you clear so what is missing now the qrs are missing the qrs are missing now if the qrs are absent if the qrs are absent the p by qrs ratio is not one by one it is not one by one rather p are more than qrs in number are you clear so in second degree what is happening the beats are missing missing beats so this is called as more bits so how to remember the name missing bits more bits m bits so m bit is more bits missing bits is beats now will you remember the name so if beats are missing it is which phenomena it is your yes second degree 
So what is Mobits? It is missing beats. Okay. So if after P the QRS is absent, it is called as what? It is called as a Mobits. It is called as what thing? The Mobits. Are you clear? Done. Now Mobits is of two type. Right? Mobits one and Mobits two. Now in Mobits one, what happened? It is also what happened? There is increased PR. Increased PR. Then then beat drop then the beat is dropped then the beat drop and qrs is missing are you clear so beat is dropped and the qrs is missing i hope is clear so beat is dropped okay and what happened then pr normal return to normal PR, then normal, and then again increase PR. So how to understand this? Okay, so PR is increasing. It become 20, 22, 24. It is increasing, and then one QRS is missing, and then again it runs normal. Okay, so how to remember this? Easy technique. Okay, let's say a husband comes home late. So he comes home late. Okay. And he comes even late. So wife says nothing. So what is happening? The P and the R interval is same or increasing? It is increasing. Okay. It is increasing. Now, one day the husband doesn't come home. He doesn't come home. So there is P wave, no QRS, again P. Are you clear? So what is missing? QRS is absent. Are you saying? So QRS is missing, just P wave and P. So one day the husband doesn't come home. So wife is so angry, she beat and now next time the husband comes on time. So it become normal PR. Are you clear? This is Mobits one. This is called as what? Mobits one. PR keep increasing, then there is a missing of the beat. And what does the wife doing? If you don't, Varna, if you don't come back, I will beat you. Varna Mardungi. So what is the other name of Mobits one? Also call as Vanky back. So kya bol riya wife? Back Ajayo Wapas Varna Bachegani. So kya bode wife? Vanky back. So Vanky back is also called as Mobits one. So what is the okay? What is the Mobits one? Also called as Vanky back. Okay. So what happened? PR increase, then QRS is absent. PR increase, QRS is absent. So what does it look like? So let's see this in graph form. See. Can you see here what is the funda? See, PR is how many box? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 box. Clear? 5 box. Sorry, 5. Here it is 7. See, 7 box. Here 10 box. Are you seeing? So 10 box means it is increased. Here P wave and there is no QRS. QRS is missing. And again what happens? Normal PR. Clear? This is called as the Wanky back. So what is it called as? It is called as the Wanky back phenomena. I hope is clear. So this is Wanky back. Easy. Type one. Mobits. So what is Mobits? Dropping of the beat. Mobits is dropping of the beats. Okay. Now, if the if the husband doesn't change, he will improve. No, he will not improve, and that cause regular dropping of the beats. So what happens? Regular. Dropping of beats, right? Mobits too. What happens? Regular dropping of beats. So now what happens? For every P and QRS, the ratio is 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 1. <clears throat> so what is the ratio? 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 1. That is for every 3 P wave. There will be one QRS like this. Clear? Or maybe two. So what do you see? There are three P wave. P, P, P and one R. Then again P, P, one R. P, P, one R. So this is three is to one. This is two is to one. Okay. <clears throat> so are you clear? So if there are multiple P waves and few QRS, 
that means the impulse is getting blocked it cannot reach from atria to ventricle are you clear now so it cannot go from atria to ventricle so what is it called as it is called as the mobitz 2 so what is mobitz 2 p and qrs ratio is not equal to 1 it is more than 1 are you clear now it is second degree okay fine so what it look like so it look like this can you see this so how many p's are there 1p 2p 3p then qrs again 1p 2p 3p then so that's why there are three p's and one qrs three p's and one qrs is there i hope it's clear okay done okay so is it clear now okay now the last is complete dissociation okay third degree is what it is complete block complete block okay and now atria and ventricle are beating independently okay they will not give this in the exam you will get what p wave separate q bar so what happens so atria ventricle are separately beating are you clear that is called as what thing yes okay in morbid to the pr is almost normal okay clear so it is almost normal in morbid to okay clear okay indrajit so is it clear to all of you okay so what is the summary so we'll do the summary in this case okay so summary please have a look okay av block first degree second degree third okay third is complete leave it okay one increase pr but no b drop what the indicator p by qrs ratio how much one is to one are you clear so what is av block one so what is the av block one okay fine okay fine so that's the case in this case it is what there is yes mobits there is mobits what happens the beat is drop are you clear so in this the beat is drop okay the beat is drop so what happens the p by qrs is either 2 is to 1 or 3 is to 1 are you clear now so that is mobits 2 clear and finally a very important thing for that what is mobits 1 and 2 one is wanky back and two is just mobits okay there is three is to one or two is to one block here what happens increase pr then qrs absent are you clear so this is the summary of what the blocks are you clear so summary of all the blocks is it clear so if there is 3 is to 1 2 is to 1 continuously it is what morbid 2 if there is increased pr then qr that means few qrs are missing not always few qrs missing that means infrequent dropping of beats and if there is no dropping that is one so no dropping one regular dropping it is two clear morbid 2 and if some beats are dropped morbid 1 are you clear okay missing beat means no qrs missing beat is no qrs is called as miss beat are you clear so what is missing beat when qrs is not seen okay fine ashish okay okay Chal. so everything is clear now there is a very important thing that is called as the wpw it is 100% MCQ. Which topic? Wolf Parkinson White. So, what is the name? Wolf Parkinson White. Okay. So, full form. Parkinson White. Now, what happens in this case? Okay. Clear? 
in mobits 1 some of the qrs are missing not all some see understand in mobits 1 see this okay in mobits 1 some of this one qrs is missing can you see this this qrs is missing others are present can you see them okay so some are missing not all some are missing not all okay complete block if you want to see this is complete block what is happening in complete block see p clear then again p p p p is occurring independently and the qrs are occurring independently as well r r r r so r r r r are you clear this is called as what complete block where p is occurring before also after also with qrs so that is called as complete this is third degree so this will not be asked it's a very uh, sometime confusing one so leave it just focus on one and two mobits one mobits two and the first degree okay fine okay so i hope all are understanding this okay so what is the concept i was discussing it is wolf parkinson white so understand okay what happens here there is something called as bundle of kent bundle of kent what is the name bundle of kent okay now what does bundle of kent do the result is what it will cause a bypass bypass av node so what it cause it cause a passing or bypass of the av node are you clear so wolf parkinson white make you bypass now how to remember if you remember kent make what water purifier remember can't water purifier and who's the ad hema mali remember and she is very fair white so remember can't wp white very white hema mali okay so can't water purifier is the name so what is the name it is bundle of can don't forget it's a very important topic okay now if you go through av node you will take time to reach ventricle if you bypass AV node, what happens? The impulse reach ventricle fast. Are you getting the idea? So impulse reach ventricle very, very fast. Are you clear? Clear? So I'll revise in the end, okay? So reach very fast. If it reach very fast, the PR will reduce. So PR interval reduce are you clear so pr interval will fall short or reduce is it clear less than 0.12 so what time less than 0.12 second are you clear now so less than 0.12 seconds okay fine done and as ventricle get excited sooner it cause a early depolarization okay and second thing ventricle get depolarized early that cause a delta wave that cause a delta wave okay and finally there is a broad qrs because when the normal impulse come it will see what it will see that the ventricles are having already been depolarized so that is causing broad more than 0.12 second so what are the three criteria of wpw one is the ventricles are depolarized fast so therefore pr shrink in block pr increase once again av block pr increase wpw pr will decrease and it become less than 0.2 there are three box less than three box and there is a early d so let me show this is normal condition can you see this this is normal now what happens the p wave and this come closer can you see this so can you see so this is the delta wave this yellow part can you see the yellow part is the delta wave so yellow is the delta wave and can you see pr so this is the pr this is 
now decrease. Are you getting the idea? And QRS can become broad. Okay. So this is what syndrome? Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. <coughs> Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. <coughs> Done. So what is the treatment of choice? So obviously, you have to remove the abnormal pathway. Why? This abnormal pathway can make the current go back to the you can say nodal tissue and can create re-entry. I'll give example. Have you copied this? Okay. Now understand. Problem. The bundle of CANT can create re-entry circuit. It can create a re-entry circuit. And that can cause something very risky. P S V T. What does it create? It create the P S V T. So I hope it's clear. So the very dangerous condition. What the P S V T that we can get? Okay. Now if there is a P S V T. Okay. Why it is so risky? Understand. Okay. Listen. I tell you something. Okay. And you listen. Okay. But if you reply me back, just manika, you are dash dash. You say you are also dash dash. So now I am excited. I will reply back, and now we'll keep on exciting each other. So if a impulse can go back to the pathway, it can cause multiple activation, and that can create a tachycardia, called as paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Okay. And remember one thing: <clears throat> it is nothing but a type of ventricular tachycardia. And what is the drug of choice here? So remember, drug of choice is basically here. Which one? It is adenosine. Okay, if not available, we can give calcium channel blocker like Verapamil. So, what is the drug of choice? Adenosine. So, remember, paroxysmal means sudden. So, paroxysmal means sudden. Sudden. Sudden ventricular what? Ventricular tachycardia. Okay, supraventricular. That means the origin is where. In the ventricle or above ventricle in the nodal tissue, so that is at the area of AV node bundle of CAN supra ventricular tachycardia. Are you clear? So that is given in this particular case. Adenosine. Are you clear? And for Wolf Parkinson White, we will want to block that abnormal conducting pathway. So what is the treatment of choice? TOC and drug of choice. Two questions are there: treatment and drug of choice. So first understand in the treatment we will remove this abnormal tissue. So that is called as radio frequency catheter ablation. So use a AC current and destroy that abnormal pathway ablation. Are you clear? <clears throat> so we'll destroy that abnormal structure. What is it called as radio frequency ablation? Okay, that is treatment of choice. Drug of choice is what? First is we do not give the drugs like adenosine. What is contraindicated? That right. We don't want the AV node to be blocked, so we don't give any drug which are nodal blocking agents. So that's why we don't give adenosine. There is a question asked. Clear? So adenosine beta blockers and CCV. So these three are not used. Which one? Adenosine CCV beta blocker. Why? Because if they block the AV node, it can create a very high rate of ventricular, you can say, B activity. So in Wolf Parkinson, to prevent this, we don't give this. Otherwise, it can cause what? Ventricular tachycardias. Okay, clear. So what is the drug of choice? Yes, flaconide. Okay, if not available, we can use procainamide. But drug of choice is flaconide. Okay, so drug of choice is yes. Group one C yes, very good. One C, antiadmic one C flaconide. Okay, and procanamide. Are you clear? So what does the yes clear? So what does the treatment of choice for PSVT? We give adenosine. Okay, and if you start getting what ventricular tachycardia VT. What the drug of choice here? VT. Drug of choice. We prefer what? The lidocaine. Okay, lidocaine. Otherwise, CCB can also be used. Okay, clear or amadron. So they can be used for which condition? 
ventricular tachyrrhythmias are you clear now clear okay yes can't pure should water or yes water purifier okay is it clear now and if there is ventricular fibrillation then the treatment is what cardioversion with what dc shock so remember i'll show them tachycardia drug of choice is lidocaine or we do catch and blocker okay or amadron also fibrillation or even flutter we use cardioversion okay or pulse less vt what is vt ventricular tachycardia okay fine so we will in this case do cardioversion with dc shock immediately okay immediately with what energy at least yes 200 joules okay and we'll do cpr okay and then we can keep repeating cycle till the big beat is restored okay clear so once again for fibrillation cardioversion with dc shock okay let's call it defibrillation okay for tachycardia lidocaine but if there's a pulse less that means the heart is not able to sufficiently generate pumping we need to again give dc shock okay in case he is having anything which is uh, making us believe ki we can use drugs so we can again use the drugs which can block the rate okay so once again summary for psvt what are the drug of choice adenosine or ccb are you clear for wolf parkinson we will do radio frequency ablation and destroy the abnormal cant ko maar denge cant ko khatam kar denge are you clear now if you want drugs we give flaconide or procainamide can be given contraindicated adenosine beta abc is contraindicated abc mat karna wana iska bc ho jayega theek hai don't do abc it can cause bc of his permanent bc are you clear permanent bc okay for tachycardia lidocaine tachycardia lidocaine fibrillation cardio version are you clear cardio version okay now question is how do you differentiate vt v fib all so that we will see okay so first is understand something how do you calculate the heart rate so remember calculate heart rate the formula is 1500 by r r interval in millimeters are you clear so what is the formula the answer is i am explain don't worry okay now i am coming topic about tachyrrhythmias okay so i have done the blocks now so now i am doing the topic about tachyrrhythmia okay so how do you calculate the heart rate the answer is 1500 by rr interval in millimeters are you clear now okay clear yes a b c d very good shivanand dr shivanand yes even desoxin is counter so a b c d okay so a b c d that is desoxin are you clear because it can also block the av node okay so a b c d is the case okay and obviously we do defibrillation that is cardio version with dc shock okay fine okay 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 so what is the formula for calculation of the heart rate 1500 by r r interval okay so let's calculate some of the heart rate so let's say if there are 20 boxes there is how many mm 20 mm so what is the heart rate 1500 by 20 75 per minute are you clear now so that is the case so we'll see 75 is the value are you clear so 75 is the value okay so let's see some of the graph and you try to calculate the heart rate okay okay so question to you people can you calculate the rate here so what is the heart rate here calculate count the boxes calculate the heart rate heart rate heart rate here here we takes 25 in india okay sunil so, the acd speed is 25 in russia ukraine they sometime take 50 mm per second but if you are taking 25 we take 1500 okay calculate the heart rate we 
वेरी गुड ओके यस राइट आंसर्स आर कमिंग ओके सो अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मेनी बॉक्स यू नो दीज आर वेरी स्मॉल सो फाइव बॉक्सेस आर हियर ओके सो इफ दे आर फाइव बॉक्सेस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एम एम फाइव एम एम फाइव एंड फाइव ट्वेंटी एम एम सो ट्वेंटी एम एम गिवस अस आ हार्ट एड अवर्ट येस फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड बाय ट्वेंटी दैट इज सेवेंटी फाइव आर यू क्लियर सो सेवेंटी फाइव वेरी गुड इट इज सेवेंटी फाइव ओके लेट्स डू अनदर वन कैलकुलेट द हार्ट रेट हियर ऑल्सो टेक द आर आर ओके सो आर एंड आर सो आर आर इंटरवल कैलकुलेट द हार्ट रेट सो कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेट ओके वेरी गुड ओके सो कैलकुलेट हाउ मेनी बॉक्स आर देयर वेरी गुड ओके देर आर ये सी फाइव 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 एंड देर आर थ्री मोर ओके थ्री मोर बट अगेन आई टेक फाइव ओके थोड़ा इजी भी शॉर्टकट मारना पड़ता है बच्चों सो थर्टी एम एम आई टेक थर्टी ओके थर्टी ओस ओके सो ओके कुछ कह रहे हैं नहीं सर ट्वेंटी सेवन लेंगे ले लो भाई ट्वेंटी सेवन ओके सो लेट कैलकुलेट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड बाय थर्टी हाउ मच फिफ्टी समवर टेकिंग बट ट्वेंटी फाइव चलो ट्वेंटी फाइव ले लो सॉरी ट्वेंटी फाइव सॉरी ट्वेंटी फाइव कितना आएगा इट इज सिक्सटी ओके क्लियर so that is around 60 so what is the heart rate around 60 per minute clear easy so 60 is the value i hope is clear so 60 is the value okay <clears throat> very good okay you can take 4 5 doesn't matter okay so main thing is what the concept should be clear so are you clear here we have done that already here calculate here also please i know it's a dirty diagram but again do calculate How many boxes? Three. One, two, three. Each is five. So how many? Fifteen boxes. Yes or no? So they are fifteen boxes. So they are which boxes? Fifteen boxes. Okay. So fifteen boxes. Give us which rate? Fifteen boxes. Yes. Hundred beat. Are you clear? So fifteen hundred is fifteen. Very good. Okay. now what is the funda you have to understand first is we know the range it is 60 to 100 per minute less than 60 per minute is bradycardia so what is the formula it is yes 60 is the value okay so less than 60 is bradycardia okay now there are so many reasons for this okay so there are so many reasons for this okay clear very good okay 100 all are right okay so thanks for all the compliments okay yes i'm doing it again for the sake of helping you all okay so bradycardia and most common cause of it they are basically problem related to your asa node so they could be a sinus or it could be other so most common examples would be blocks heart blocks okay or drugs which can decrease like ccb beta blocker they can decrease so drugs okay or vagal stimulation parasympathetic vagus so they all can cause decrease in the heart rate so that's why most of the heart blocks what do you see you will see a bradycardia cardia less than 60 are you clear less than 60 now comes the concept of tachycardia please understand okay first 100 to 250 we take as tachycardia are you clear tachycardia okay fine and then if it goes 250 up to above but up to 350 it is called as yes flutter flutter and if it is more than 350 up to 600 per minute this is a fibrillation 
okay clear so this is the cut off okay so this is the cut off i hope is clear so what is the cut off here cut off is 350 above is fibrillation and this that is a tachycardia not going to exceed 250 cut off so now are you clear so tachycardia is not going to exceed okay fine now if these are ventricular so ventricular flutter or vfib that is ventricular fibrillation technically they both are dangerous why in fibrillation the heart is doing this is not able to pump so that's why they both are dangerous condition and we should not wait for them so that's why what is the concept you have no recognizable activity what do you see you just see irregular activities what do you see irregular fluctuations okay clear very near to each other okay and they look just like this are you clear so you will see if very irregular activity okay clear this would be the case so they look one of the most easiest thing to identify that they will show such a high rate or irregularity okay there is no p no qrs no waves identifiable no normal waves just some noise like disturbance okay and what is the calculation so let's do this okay can you see this okay yes can you see this no wave only just irregular activity and if you try to calculate the rate can you calculate the rate formula 1500 by the difference let's see how many waves are there count okay 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 4 so how many box 4 mm again here also 4 mm so 4 what are the value what is the value 150 by 4 it is 375 per minute and what is 375 i told you it is ventricular fibrillation v fib okay so it is ventricular fibrillation okay clear so you don't need to differentiate why the idea is mainly rate if they are like this then you can find out the difference is what not that much so let's say the difference here is 10 so that is 150 if 5 it is 3 so that's why it is just the rate which decide it is flutter or fibrillation are you clear now so what are the value 375 so it's what fibrillation okay treatment i told you what is the treatment defibrillation and what do we use for that okay drugs we can use but most commonly or rather the protocol is what we'll use this dc shock to make the heart into normal rhythm okay so dc shock is the uh, you can say treatment in this case are you clear so we can try drugs also to decrease the rate but it mostly going to give very poor results are you clear okay done okay now comes the difference between sorry vt or svt bahut suna hai ye kya hota hai batata hu vt or svt what is svt it is supra ventricular tachycardia ventricular so now understand what happens is SVT originate above ventricles. Example, what SA node, AV node, okay, <clears throat> maybe SA, that is uh, this. So they are originating above, okay, even SA node can be there, bundle of his. So anything which is above the ventricle is called as what? Supra ventricular. VT are in the ventricles itself. So they are where? They originate in ventricles. So what is the difference? The rate in both is what? It is 100 to 250 per minute. Are you clear? So 100 to 250 is the rate in both. Okay. Now what is the differentiating feature? There are multiple feature like we have what? <coughs> in this case multiple. But main thing is what? Here we have a normal QRS. Okay. Normal QRS less than 0.11 second. That is three boxes. Here there is a broad QRS. There is a broad QRS. There is a broad. How much? More than 
point one four some book give you one six that is almost four boxes okay so it's almost equal to four boxes okay plus there are other criteria also like fusion beads are there okay or there could be capture beads okay clear so fusion capture beads or the bruguda you can say uh, sign so they are yes multiple things like if you take this and they are having almost no morphology they could be very irregular you cannot even identify their shape okay so there is a normal and p wave is absent here just main thing is normal qrs if you get normal qrs so that means wide qrs broader wide qrs it is ventricular if normal qrs is the case i hope is clear okay so in exam you will most likely get either vt or svt in svt you will see normal qrs and high rate how much 102 if you get a broad one like this ones okay very broad it is most likely this okay clear and there could be multiple form also okay so that is will not discuss much okay i'll just show you the main forms here okay okay So let's see them and we will finish it up. Okay. Okay, so it's here. Okay. <clears throat> so what do you see in this case i will not show this see here okay first is in this case if you pay attention the what is the kidding p wave is absent so p wave is absent are you clear so p wave is absent are you clear now are you clear and what do you see you see that the r and r are very regularly paced are you clear so what is the rate? So what is RR equal to 10 mm? Okay. And are they broad? No. They are less than 3. So they are not wide QRS. Not wide. Okay. They are normal. Almost 2 to 3 box. How much? Are you clear? So they are 2 to 3 boxes. Are you clear now? So 2 to 3 boxes. Okay. Done. If they are two to three boxes, what are we going to see? If they are two to three boxes, that means normal. And the rate is what? What is the rate? It is 1500 by 10. How much? 150. Clear? 150. Clear? If it is 150, that is VT. Are you clear? But there is what? No abnormal morphologies. There is no, uh, you can say, you can say monomorphic or various different kind of shapes okay and you see very regular so this is most likely what it is a yes svt so it's a svt clear and if it occurs suddenly we call it as proximal supraventricular tachycardia are you clear treatment of choice adeno seen in this case okay look at this one here again you see what the rate is more but here what happens is there's again no p wave and the r and s have merged so this is what Clear? This is just a ventricular tachyrhythmia. Are you clear? So ventricular tachyrhythmia. Can you see it's broad? Can you see it's broad? Is what boxes? One, two, almost ten. So it's a wide QRS or complexes. Clear? So it's not SVT. It is VT. Are you clear? Fine. It is VT. Okay. Divide. Okay. See, we are learning easy way. Okay. We are not learning the exact details because there are multiple types in this also. Okay. Look at this one again. Yes. This is called as concordance. It is called as what? It is again what? Can you see again how many boxes? Six box. Can you see? Six box. That means wide QRS. What is the rate? Can you calculate the rate? What is the heart rate here? Calculate heart rate. Calculate heart rate. Okay. What is the rate here? What the distance between these two R waves? yes it is around six okay around six boxes okay six mm so 
so it is around 6 rr is 6 so 6 mm so what are the value yes it is 1500 by 6 so how much gives 250 so it is 250 per minute clear so it's not a flutter it is 250 okay 250 252 okay and there is what again what there is very broad wide qrs okay almost six that is six boxes so what is the best idea what condition it is ventricular tachycardia are you clear now vt it is vt so these are all the graphs of vt and this okay clear okay now just to wrap it up okay if you see if you see what normal qrs okay normal qrs and also the rr is okay present variable okay but almost normal but normal okay almost normal okay clear and p waves are absent okay this is most likely a atrial flutter or fibrillation okay if there are flutter waves or there is just f fibrillatory activity this is atrial fibrillation and this is atrial flutter are you clear so this is atrial flutter are you clear this is atrial flutter in this case okay so if there is normal qrs rr is not that means there is no ventricular tachycardia much okay ventricular tachycardia that means rr that means the heart rate is either normal or less or even if it's increased not more than 100 okay so heart rate is normal less or maybe increase but not it is tachycardia okay so that's why there's no tachycardia okay much okay and there is what flutter wave okay so what is the ratio of this flutter wave 3 is to 1 or 4 is to 1 like this this is called as what the flutter here you just see some noise like this this is called as the afib this is called as the afib are you clear so let me show it that's better to understand by diagram look at this okay can you see multiple p waves but the rr is not affected much so rr is how many box four that is 20 mm so that means rr is normal qrs is also normal problem is what multiple multiple this p like wave called as flutter wave these are flutter waves so that's why three waves one two three or other four so it's a four and one qrs call as what four is to one this is atrial flutter this is atrial flutter are you clear atrial flutter okay done and if you see absence here you see what again irregular rr but there is no much tachycardia okay yes slight is there but not that much and here there is what disturbance these are the fibrillatory waves atrial fibrillation are you clear this is atrial fibrillation okay so heart rate can be normal but there is a variable rr can you see some are increased some are less some are more okay this is what the classical atrial fibrillation presentation okay so are you clear okay now the time is less okay so therefore we'll not go in that detail okay so what i'll do is in the next class we'll discuss that in detail okay so next class okay we will be taking the uh, remaining topic like the topic of this st elevation etc okay uh, st non st mi that coronary acute coronary syndrome okay clear so we'll take and also the bundle branch block okay clear so we will do these topics it will take hardly 20 minutes next class because there is a class schedule by dr shushant at 9 30 so i don't want you to miss okay so next class will cover the remaining things okay fine 
so what is the summary let me just summarize okay what do you check in a ecg you check the heart rate so what is the heart rate given by so heart rate is 1500 by rr are you clear if it is more than 100 up to 250 it is what it is tachycardia tachy if 250 or 350 they are flutter and fib are you clear flutter and fib easy flutter and fib okay that is bundle branch block okay so i will take it later okay fine don't worry okay second is axis we done that axis clear so axis okay then we discuss about the hypertrophy lvh and rvh we discuss that also then we discuss the blocks okay av block in av block what is the idea the answer is idea is increase pr that is first degree p by qrs not here one is to one if not equal to one it is dropping of beat not equal to one that is mobits two that is second degree are you clear and if there is complete that is the case are you clear okay fine so let me just give the idea what we will be doing okay clear so today was first class my first experience with you people so in next class we'll finish this remaining things okay so next class would be occurring i think tomorrow will not have so let's take on 3rd august we'll take the class okay 3rd august okay timing again confirm okay fine then yes we'll do a rapid revision of physio also of physio in just one hour because you just need to know some important things from the physio and that will cover almost 70 80 percent of questions okay clear fine okay so we'll do that okay so 3rd august we'll have the next class okay tomorrow take a break okay raksha mandan will celebrate we today celebrate what eat so we'll take this this okay and uh, yes 3rd august we'll have the next class okay we'll do yes revision of physiology rapidly okay and chocolate once again for all of you okay because there is a class of patho i don't want you to miss otherwise you will take on this concept okay fine so we'll do a revision next okay so thank you very much pasiva balshoi okay or say say okay so thank you for listening for two hours okay bit torture also i know it's a very boring topic and again it takes time for yes me to come into groove and teach it in full flow so two hours okay thank you for that okay next class will do okay so please 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 share the link so that next time more people can get this and see so share the link okay and subscribe okay so thank you very much good night very soon we will meet okay take care bye bye okay okay almonds okay for all of you almonds okay clear so almonds for all of you okay Hello. Okay. Okay. So we'll be taking basically topic wise. Okay. Like we'll be topping JVP, murmurs. Okay. Condition like all this. Uh, condition like valvular disorders. Okay. Then in the CNS, we'll be taking what the motor disorder, the Parkinson, the ataxias. Okay. So we'll be doing it in integrated manner so that we are able to cover lots of medicine also okay clear so basically medical subjects related to physio patho pharma all okay clear so that is the case plus we'll request other faculties to take session like i've requested azam sir for anatomy biochem shushan sir is already taking patho singaram sir will request for, so we'll request other faculties so other faculties will surely help us in revision okay for other subject revision are you clear so we will request okay fine chalo okay for all of you okay bye bye take care okay and there will be a test of the topic we have discussed okay so will be a test on the group test okay which one ecg on group okay tomorrow okay telegram group so we are yet to discuss what the mi changes okay difference between all this and also the electrolyte imbalance that is hyper hypokalemia and bundle branch lbbb rbb again time was short okay clear
वॉज अ केस ओके ठीक है चलो टेक केयर बाय बाय ओके विल मीट सुन ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर कमिंग एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी हैप्पी टू यस टीच यू वंस अगेन ओके सो थैंक यू वंस अगेन ओके सो आई जस्ट से